All right, what's up, everybody? This is Zach Zacharias. We're back with more of the Burnham 2 Crystal Souls. We are now in an area called the Trapped Halls. The sign says, Trapped Halls. Sixus is not seeing visitors. Your hopes are futile. Okay, so obviously this is where we find Sixus. As you approach the gate, you step on the ruined stone pad. Lightning races down the iron bars, forcing you back. The bolts of energy fade away, and you hear a soft clicking noise coming from the levers to the cell. And all is quiet. Oh! Okay, I think I know what to do. I have to go back and get that map. I should have hung on to it. Because that's why it's, it said Lev. Okay, so that was my bad for not hanging on to that map. Where is that thing? Or how do I even get back over there? How do I get back over there? Crap. Ah. How do I get back over there? Uh How do I get back over here there? Oh. Okay. Yeah, I should have just brought the map. My apologies for doing this little detour back. Yeah, six odd symbols at the bottom. Okay, so let's go back now. Man, I thought I was locked out of being able to do that because of my lack of tool use right now. Okay, so sorry about that, folks. I didn't know we had to hang on to that map still for, or at least I could, or at the very least, try to memorize what those symbols on the bottom are, which I think are reference to the levers right here. And I didn't want to, like, try to guess it like crazy.
As you approach the gate, you step on the runestone pad. You hear a soft clicking noise coming from the levers to the south. Then the three northern gates open. This chamber is split into thirds by two wide pools. There are several giants waiting for you at the north end. Well, fake giants. They are sculpted from paint and wax. The constructs sway from side to side, patiently waiting for you. Okay, well, these are going to be no issue. Okay, now for this particular quest, there are two possible ending scenarios for it. I am going to try to go for the good ending here, though. Either way, either ending you get, it's not going to have a effect on your reputation, and you'll still get a boost to reputation as well as a reward for it. But in my opinion, you still want the best possible ending out of this scenario. That's what I'm going to be trying to show you all how to get. Okay, three switches. Let's stay to the right for now. Oh, okay, whatever. We're going in here. Oh, it, it didn't matter. They all led to the same place anyway. Looks like. Why did you go over there? Come on, Lazarus. Really? I do remember for this part in particular, uh, this is the only other occasion where you're also going to need food as well. But only for a brief part of it, but we can find food here during this uh, quest. I forget this ensnare effect. Fortunately, the enemies here aren't, like, super tough or anything. Don't care about your spine shield. I hate getting an extra turn and then I'm not even within range or can move within range either. Still, gymnastics is a very good skill to have.
Coins. Okay, this is where we're gonna need food, so let me see if I can find some of this part here, this section. I could have sworn there was food here, though, that I could use. Yes, here it is. Yeah, you can grab these mushrooms really quick. And then get prepared to go through that gate. As you pass between these two huge granite Sazerakai, they come to life. The hulking forms look down at you contemptuously. One of them begins to speak. Human. Delicious human. The other says, Food. I smell foods. Let us have your foods. Or you cannot pass. As soon as you open your food bags, the statues go mad with hunger. They leap forward, ripping your food from your hands and devouring it. Then they back away and turn solid again. You check your possessions. All of your food is gone. Of course, in the original Avernum, this would be more of an issue, but not really so much. The walls of the passage to the west leak drips of water and are crumbling slightly. This construction here is of very poor quality. I think we do have to go this way, though, to prevent any sort of conflict with uh, Pixis and his crew, so we are going to go this way. I remember, don't go down this way. I, I think I remember now, don't go down that way. Just break the wall and go through here. Because then you will come into conflict with uh, Six's apprentices if you do. So if you do prefer the best possible ending out of this, like I do, then you this is the route you want to go. Apparently, we need Move Mountain 3 before we can break that wall. This room is dark, but you can barely make out a human figure huddled up in the shadows by the opposite wall. It rises, and you can see that it is a small, terrified man. You start to reach for your weapon when the figure says in a thin, terrified voice, Who sent you here? Who told you to come? Okay. 
So yes, you want to break through that wall instead of going down there. You need to break through this wall, fight through all that, and then go in this way. Yeah, I remember now. This is for the best possible ending. And obviously, we're not going to say these two because that's going to result in a bad ending. This is the only way to get the good ending. Bevan asked me to come and find you. The figure nods and stands. A friendly name. Perhaps the fight is unnecessary. He steps forward and you see a tiny old man in mage's robes. He bows to you and says, I am Sixus. You start to speak, but he motions you to be silent. I can't stay long. You have broken our defenses. The Empire may attack soon. I tell you this so you can tell Mayor Bevan. I fled with my assistants because several overnight soldiers attacked me. Or so I thought. When we were assaulted in my tower to the south, we flew our attackers. Later, inspecting them, I came to suspect they were Empire warriors in disguise. I believe the Empire tried to kill me because I was in contact with the Vonatai. I knew that they had stolen the Crystal Souls. They wanted to kill me before I could reveal it. Now that you have made the truth known, my knowledge is moot. He points up the south wall. You can find a reward hidden nearby. With that, he summons his assistants, four young mages, two male and two female, and they gather th their things together. After they all thank you, they gather together, cast a spell, and vanish. It's time to return to Mayor of Bevan. You have succeeded in your mission. Hopefully, Sixus will continue to be successful in evading the Empire. Okay, so we clear we know what the answer is. Or what the result of Sixus is. Yeah, there was no way he was rebelling against Avernum. It, was, it always was a matter of him simply trying to just survive and evade the Empire. Wisdom Crystal. Piercing Crystal and Vulnerability Potion, which will sell. Alright, who has lowest XP right now? Oh, it's Moses, okay. See, if he went that way, he would have come into conflict with his uh, mages, and then he would have took his own life. So he thinking that he was caught and going to give up mages' secrets, but which wasn't. Which I'm glad we didn't go down the go down that path of. Not to mention, he also has rewarded us for basically. saving his life so it's clear he was good just uh, under a lot of craziness from the Empire the journal of Caleb and uh, Caleb an apprentice to Sixus you skim it it mentions how his master made contact with strange creatures called the Vonatai they were hostile to him at first but he was able to convince them that not all humans are dangerous not long after this a force of what seemed to be Avernai soldiers located and attacked Sixus's tower he fled taking his notes with him and used his formidable magical abilities to create this bunker he then discovered that the soldiers who attacked him were actually Empire warriors in disguise. He decided to stay away from Almeria, as he feared that the Empire had infiltrated that river city. He was trying to figure out what his next step should be. This is where things stood when you arrive. You find a book on magical barriers. It's pretty dry, but it makes one interesting comment. 
Some powerful magical barriers are resistant to the dispel barrier spell, but they can be brought down by exposure to quick fire. You take note of this. Ooh. You find a packet of notes describing the sinister Archmage Garzon, powerful leader of the Empire forces invading Avernum. It concludes that his defenses are incredible, but a mage living near Formello, Stolberg, may know how to deal with him. On the bookshelf, you find an Avernite military report. It mentions three Empire installations in the cave southwest of Darman. A tower filled with the sinister, with sinister mages doing weird experiments, the cave of Sulphurus the Dragon, and larger than three, the fortress and Jirak. And Angirak. 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 This is the Avernite military report. It describes Fort Dolthar, a large empire installation on an island northeast of Fort Emerald. It mentions that Spy saw a group of tall, thin alien beings there, entering the fort with two empire dervishes. This is the door we couldn't get open because, yeah, no high enough tool use. Six of and his helpers must have hastily constructed this compound. The wall here is crumbling. Owl of Terror boost now. Nice. Alright, well, before we exit, let's go ahead and explore this part. You hear a snatch of whispering from the hall to the north. You look at just in time to see a flash movement in the shadows at the far end of the pool. Okay, since we already cleared out uh, sixes, that's just a glitch in the uh, in the game's in the game's coding because of uh how we already cleared it out. That was only supposed to be a dialogue option if uh, you went this alternate way and then it would, have, it would have resulted in the bad ending for sixes. So yeah, that, that dialogue about flashing uh, light and whispering, that wasn't, that's only meant for the bad ending if you went that way. Should have, oh, whatever. All right, well, now that we got the truth about sexes, we can report back. We'll put, we'll give that sugar to Gary. And we will head back to Almeria. Sixes has done a great job of evading the Empire, though, so you have to give him a lot of credit for setting up those Home Alone-style traps, stuff like that, killing a lot of them. Our group had to deal with some stuff, too, but then again, uh, the worst stuff went to the Empire, so it's not a big deal at all. It's clear who he was still allied with at the end of the day. We found a hidden safe house. I think Empire soldiers were hiding there. They are gone. Good. If my soldiers aren't competent enough to deal with the situation and scare out the rats, I'm glad that you can help us. I've taken care of the Sixth's problem. The situation is safe. Bevan looks profoundly, profoundly relieved when you say what you did. Wonderful. His services will aid us greatly. I'll let the castle know right away, and he has an aid fetch you a large bag. Here's silver. A lot of it. 
fair reward for what you've done. You have another mission for me? He thinks. Actually, now that I come to think of it, no. Your labor would be best put to the surface of uh, service of other areas of Avernum. And we got a boost of reputation, so now we're worshipped. Okay, Abby doesn't have different dialogue, even though they were friends. Him and Bevan were friends with Sixes. Her and Bevan, I mean. Alright, what else? Message the castle. Purging the spiral. I still want to do this one, but we will have to still explore outside. But I kind of just want to get to the next town already. Alright, let's explore out here real quick, just to clear out the shading. Ooh, there's a broken wall right there, too, we could probably crack open. Okay, it's just a dead body. <laughs> But it has some items we can use. Uh, steel breathplate isn't really going to do anything for uh, Ray Lynn because she already has great, great piece of armor. So we'll just give that to Seraphina. Okay, and after another long journey. We finally are going to get to the castle here. You meet a platoon of Avernite sentries, keeping a careful watch from this crude Cavewood Tower. They're keeping an eye out for any Empire troops that might dare raid a great, the Great Cave. They greet you briefly and then go back to their posts. Alright, took us a long time, but we're finally here at the castle. The castle, seat of the royalty of Avernum, is surrounded by a huge stone wall assembled by muscle and magic. This wall is the largest human-made structure in Avernum. You pass through a gate in the middle, guarded by well-armed and armored troops. The guards have massive halberts and polished plate armor of a quality rare in Avernum. However, their eyes betray a great weariness. Things haven't been going well lately. You nod and move past quickly. The main approach to and from the castle is a steep, narrow stretch of ground flanked to either side by steep slopes and mounds of jagged rocks. From this approach, you have a good view of the mighty structure that is the castle. Along the way, you pass several large groups of Avernum's finest troops guarding the path. Each questions and inspects you as you pass, ready to kill or die to keep a spy from entering or leaving Avernum's capital. Finally, when did you approach the end of the path? All right, and in the next part, we are finally going to explore the castle. So I will see you all soon. Until then.